Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen, you guys. Today, what we are doing is we're gonna make us some delicious Patty LaBelle pies, homemade, straight out your kitchen. Yeah, well, you know it's my kitchen, but anywho, you guys, I have to show you now. First, I baked off me some sweet potatoes, or you could call them yams, whatever you want, you want, okay? Because that's what we were raised with, a lot of us anyway, right? So we want to just make sure we get that on out of there and get as much stuff we want. You know, we, we you know, we got to get that out of there, okay? But anyway, how is everybody doing today? Good. Because I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to do Patty LaBelle pies. Because, you know, I really enjoy her pies and I, I haven't been seeing them, you know. So somebody go back and tell Patty, look, you got, you got people in the kitchen now making your pies, okay. So, yeah, you bake off the sweet potato, right, or the yams, you know, hey, us southern folks, you know, we'll take yams and we make our pies and I don't know. To me, there ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? But we want to get as much as possible without taking too much away as far as, you know, peeling-wise, right? Make sure you got your gloves on. And we're just going to go ahead and throw that on over in that bowl, right? And make sure that you clean and wash your potatoes. You guys, clean and wash them. But I wanted to carry you through the steps, okay? Because if all of you know, you know. Let's get into this holiday spirit. Yes. Now, the ingredients that you're going to need is one-fourth cup of cinnamon. I mean, take one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. You're going to need uh, one-fourth cup of white granulated sugar. Yeah. Now, my first step... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I know some of y'all don't like, let me sit that right there. Some of you guys don't like all of that hammering, but anywho, let me put my gloves on, because I don't want to get anything up under my fingernails. Because we got to throw all of this in here, right? Seemed like I should have had a bigger bowl, but anyway. Let's put that right there. Let's get our spoon again. You know, my mother, when she used to make pies, she used to like them chunky, right? So we're going to pour us some butter right on over in here. I don't think I need the two sticks, but anywho. And like I say, we have... One tablespoon, I mean one teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg, right? We have one cup, I mean a half a cup of pet milk. And we have our sugar, which is one cup. Now, do I think that's enough sugar? Yes. Because I'm going to mix this in and then I'm going to add my two eggs, you guys. 
I'm going to add my two eggs. Okay, here go our two eggs. Well, you really can't see it. But anyway, we got two large eggs. I'm just going to put a little quick mix on it. And we're going to add that in here. Right? And that's all we need. And we got us the Patty LaBelle sweet potato pie in the kitchen. You guys, and I'm going to go ahead and get this quick stir. Also have and it spilled a little salt, but it's okay. One fourth of uh, salt, just a, a little. I had a little overflow on it anyway, so it doesn't matter really. And I don't know if I want to make one deep dish. I want to make one deep dish. So we have some pie crust shells, uh, pie crust that was already pre-made, okay, by Pillsbury. So I'm going to use that, okay, I'm going to use that to start off. And we're going to mix that on up in there. Get that salt out up in there. Because that's, uh, like I say, one-fourth granulated salt. Okay? And we're just going to go on and mix that on in there. And put us a couple of scoops right here. Of our patty pie. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go here and do that. Now we also have some more pie crust. And this made by our family. Cause you know, you never know what size you need. Now keep in mind these pies, you can actually freeze. You guys. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how I make pies, but yet this year, we're going with the patty pie. We're going with the patty pie, you guys. So we got three pies, one deep pan. We're going to put a little more on this deep as well. And get all of these pies out. And get these on out. Now you don't want to overflow them. But we're going to put these in the oven. You guys make sure it's right at the boil. I was going to say the boiler. The bra of it. And just go around slowly to each corner so we know we got us some pies and this is Patty LaBelle copycat pie recipe yeah your girl wanted to make it make sure we get all of that off <laughs> Who enjoyed Patty LaBelle pies? Leave it in the comment area. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bake these pies off. You guys. At uh I'm gonna go for approximately 20 minutes. 
20 minutes. You guys, 20 minutes for these pies. Now, give or take, I'm looking for a good brown crust. Okay? Around the brim. Yeah, right in there too. But that's what we're looking for. So we got our oven on 325, between 325. And yeah, we're just going to let it go ahead and cook. Okay? So that's what we are going to do. So y'all make sure y'all go and tell Patty that Miss T over here trying her recipe. Check it out, you guys. These pies look so delicious. Looks so delicious, you guys. I don't want to. I need to bring it closer for you guys. Uh-oh. That's a little too close, ain't it? But anywho, <laughs> if you like this video, share this video with any everyone. Let them know that your girl can copycat it. Patty LaBelle Pies, you guys. Yes, this year we're putting her on our table. And that's that. That that is that. Go tell Patty I done brought her home. I done brought her pies home, you guys. This is a delicious recipe. If you never tried making sweet potato pies yourself, if you're watching your your intake of your sugar and everything, I will guarantee you that this pie is a delicious recipe that you can share with your friends and your family along with different other desserts, you guys. And you don't have to worry. Not at all. Push control. It's the key. But anywho, thumbs this video straight up for me. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not part of the fam, what you waiting on? Your girl is reaching, trying to reach a goal of 10,000. Now, I don't know if I can do it before the first of the year, but I can if you guys help me out. But anywho, I'm going to get ready to close this video straight out and ask you guys to make sure you turn on your notifications so you can see the next video at a timely fashion when it comes up. Because your girl enjoys cooking with you guys. And I'm getting better and better at it with this camera. And I'm getting more and more comfortable with myself. But until then, you guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Sending much love from my house to yours. Because somebody loves you, baby. Okay? And you know who it is.